what went wrong in Bangladesh and what should be India's stand and what is the current situation? All these things I'm sure must be going in your minds, in the minds of the aspirants and all in, you know, the citizens who want to be informed of what's going are in the country, around the world. And that is why we are taking up this topic where you want to know about Bangladesh issue, the protests there, the current situation, how is it going to impact India? What are the situations, you know, what are the circumstances which led to uh, this particular crisis? And, you know, how the world is looking at it. Hello, everyone. I am Manish Srivastav, and you're watching UPSC Live with Manish, where we discuss some news in general or, you know, something related to UPSC and other competitive examination in particular. And we are live today on Wednesday, and we are live in the Noida studio of the Indian Express with me as my producer and the camera person. And your queries, your suggestions, I would request you to keep writing, keep posting the questions to me. We are live on Instagram right now and you will see the recorded version of this particular video on the YouTube channel of the Indian Express uh, in the evening, later in the evening, where again, I'll be there. I'll be answering your questions, uh, you, which you will write in the comment box. Now, let's understand this issue. And first of all, let's just, just open up with what we are going to do. So we are going to talk about this issue, uh, the Bangladesh crisis in general. We're also going to talk about what are some of the must reads, okay, some of the must reads from the Indian Express that you must read for your better understanding and knowing various dimensions to it, okay. The other important thing which we are going to deal today is uh, also the letters, okay, so the emails, the messages, the letters which you keep sending us and are very really important message, letter, ya question select kiya hai jo ki mere in an express email box mein aya tha. Alright, so that is towards the end and I'm sure all of you are going to stay back and when you're going to stay back, maybe you can also answer some of those queries which I will take up. And let us understand that why we are doing this particular topic today. Sabse pehle aapko ye samajna hai that this is a very important part of your UPSC syllabus when we talk about international relations. Okay, so international relations, aapko pata hai. it's very important in the GS paper 2 of mains and prelims maybe to aapko is, uh, is related kaapi questions aate hai. India and its neighborhood, chik hai, to neighborhood mein jo bhi chal raha hai, wo aapke ghar mein uska impact par sakta hai na. To desh to bhoat bada hai aur Bangladesh, you know, it's a neighbor of our, uh, you know, of India or waha jo honne wala hai, wo yaha pe uska impact kya hona hai, how would India react to it, ye saari aapko cheeze pata honi chahiye. Now before coming to the issue, I would request all of you to have a map. Okay, aap Indian subcontinent ka map apne paas rakhiye, where you would easily see India and Bangladesh. So as I said, geography, history, politics and polity go hand in hand. So, ye aapko janna bahut zaruri hai. You must know that, you know, the geography of the place, what are the sharing states with Bangladesh of India, ye saari cheeze aapko pata honi chahiye. Now, let's come to the issues. There are certain questions which comes to our mind. That first, first of all, uh, what went wrong in Bangladesh, for example? Then, uh, of course, what is going to be New Delhi stand? And can India stand with its friend? Okay, this is something which comes to our mind. Now, also, how protests in Bangladesh and Pakistan can be compared or cannot be compared? So, there have been protests in Pakistan also on various issues. Can we compare these two neighbors? Okay, so this is also an interesting point. And also talking about student movements, because as we will, you know, go on, we will see how students were involved there. So, student movements. Do we have some history of Indian student movements? Uh, then, of course, economy. Uh, why, you know, there, there are concerns among Indian exporters. So, there is an economic angle to this also. Also, do you know about some of the terms? For example, if I say SAFTA agreement, do you know about Operation Surge Light, uh, Mukti Bahini, do you know Bangavadu, do you know Razakars? So, there are a lot of terms which you have to keep in mind while you are covering this particular issue. ठीक है तो धीरे-धीरे चलते हैं थोड़ी बहुत चीजें हम समझते हैं हम देखते हैं कि राइटर्स ने इंडियन एक्सप्रेस के वेरियस एडिटोरियल्स में एक्सप्लेन सेक्शन में इस चीज को कैसे कवर किया है सो दैट यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड हाउ यू हैव टू पर्टिकुलरली रीड दिस 
Now, what is the news all about? So, news all about is that Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina resigned and fled the country on Monday after hundreds of people were killed in a crackdown on demonstrations that began as protests against job quotas and swelled into a movement demanding her downfall. So this is the particular news and this is around you various dimensions. Pata karne, okay? Please be free to ask me questions uh, related to this topic or maybe UPSC in general or your exams in general. Any topic you think it's relevant to ask and you think that you know I'll be able to answer, please do ask us. Now, there is this quota system where 30% quota on government jobs for families of veterans who fought in the country's war against Pakistan in 1971. So, this quota was the government had thought about it. And the Supreme Court, they reduced or they cut down the, you know, the quota to 5% with 93% of jobs being allocated on, to merit, on merit. Ye reservation ka Supreme Court ne ye kiya tha isme, matab, this change. But still the protest went on and as a result, as we saw that Sheikh Hasina, who was the Prime Minister, has resigned and fled. So ye particular story hai. Now from an exam point of view, you don't need to go in a lot of depth of this particular news, but you should know thoda baut upar se ki reason kya tha, cause kya tha. Okay, why is this protest going on? Alright, these are a little things you should know. Alright, now there's a question. I'll come back to what we are going to discuss. Then let's take a question first. So a lot of uh, students are actually asking if this is going to impact relations with India. So now can they study one with the government? Or is it important? To absolutely, absolutely. So we are going to cover this topic. Just before covering that part, I would request you that whenever आपको ये लगता है कि इंडिया का क्या स्टैंड होगा या इंडिया पे क्या इंपैक्ट होगा सबसे पहला द फर्स्ट पॉइंट टू स्टार्ट विद इज इज सी दैट व्हाट इज गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया स्टेटमेंट ओके इन से द पार्लियामेंट ओके और व्हाट व्हाट इज द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया स्टैंड सबसे पहले योर स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट शुड बी दैट so, for example, our uh, Honorable Foreign Minister has, you know, uh, placed a statement in front of the House yesterday where he said that, you know, what what is the whole scenario and how is India looking at it? So, uh, these are certain things where he says that, you know, uh, minorities ke uh, business, minorities ke, you know, particularly business have been affected. He's talked about the temples. So, these are the certain things and how India is closely watching the situation and what is India doing in this role. Now, how will relation impact hoga? Uska ek sabse direct impact hai, that is the economy part and we will come to it. We will see how India and Bangladesh ka jo trade hai, that was very important, it's very important and how the things are going to impact there. Also, we will see the international you know, influence because uh, how should India react to uh, this situation because you know that our uh, Pakistan ke side wala border is obviously more disturbed. Hai, so it's, uh, the, the, uh, and then can we afford uh, you know, another, another kind of a turmoil on this side of the border? So that is the and it is very well covered in the Indian Express, in, the, in, in, in its editorials and explained. So I'll come to that. So we were talking about that what happened there and it was this was related to the reservations or the quota there uh, though the Supreme Court reduced the amount of quota which the government was saying to give and the the protests continue this is a majorly what is being reported which what is being told you see in the editorials that's a student-led kind of a protest a student involvement also there now <clears throat> There's a very important line in one of the articles of the Indian Express that with Hasina's departure, New Delhi fears the possibility of anti-India elements gaining strength, possibility redefining Dhaka's new power structure. So obviously when a new government comes and we have seen that, you know, uh, how India and Bangladesh relation has been in the times of Hasina, Sheikh Hasina. Now, of course, with the change, there will be, you know, different conditions which will emerge and we have to wait and watch, ki, you know, what becomes, what, how the relationship now takes a turn. Now, uh, there is something very important here that till when the situation in Bangladesh was okay, okay, and when did the things started becoming bad? So, 
in one of the editorials, and I would request you to read that uh, editorial written by Shyam Saran. Shyam Saran says that, you know, Sheikh Hasina's rule was tolerable as long as Bangladesh economy centered on export of garments. This was registering sustainable growth and delivering on jobs and better living standards. However, during the pandemic and after pandemic, there was a slowdown in the global economy. Thereafter, hit the garment industry badly. And a toxic mix of economic distress and the increasingly high-handed behavior of the government turned a student protest into a full-scale anti-governments, anti-people's movement. Okay, anti-government people's movement. Now, he says something very important and I think ye sari jo cheez hai, ye aapko ke note down karni chahi. He says, in the current evolving situation in Bangladesh, India. So he brings in India and he says, India as a vibrant multi-party democracy should be seen as supporting the expression of popular will in a sensitive neighboring country. So this is what uh, Shyam Saran writes and that is why reading editorials become very important. Because you know what what should be India's next stand by written by experts. All right. And he, he continues by saying that the temptation to brand the ongoing political change as anti-India or anti-Hindu should be avoided. Okay, so this is how, you know, aap log mein se kai log foreign services mein jane, jana chate, foreign, you know, you want to become ambassadors and, you know, be a part of foreign diplomacy. So these things become very important and, you know, you have to understand here that aapko kisi situation ko kaise dekhna chahiye and how you should handle it. In fact, when you're writing these things in exam also, okay, just try to be very apolitical, try to have a the stand which is, you know, which uh, a government officer in the future mein jo banne wala hai, wo usko, uh, promote karega. So the answer should also have such kinds of balanced things uh, which should appear. So that is one thing. Now, uh, the other thing which you have to keep in mind is, uh, you know, uh, it's very important line and I'm sure a lot of you will connect to it. There's a very important line written by Sayyid Munir Khasro. And he writes, and I quote, that economic progress alone cannot sustain a leader's popularity in the face of eroding democratic values and civil liberties. Okay, liberties. Now, this is a very important uh, question, a uh, very important line. It can be, you know, in a way asked in your essay quotes also that how leadership and, you know, the popularity of a leadership doesn't only depend on the economic progress. There are certain... Uh, democratic values and liberties. So, what are they saying here? That economic progress depends on the popularity of a leader's popularity. You have the value system, the value system, the value of democratic values, the civil li uh, liberties, hai, uska khayal rakhna bahut zaruri hai. and the case in point here, what uh, Sayyid Munir Khasro writes is Bangladesh. Taking the example of the current situation of Bangladesh. Now, it says, Bangladesh transformed, and I quote, and you must note that Bangladesh transformed from one of the world's poorest nation into one of the fastest growing economies in the region. This is data ki bahut nahi hai. This line enough is able to explain the, you know, how Bangladesh you know, changed over time. The world's poorest nation into one of the fastest growing economies in the region, even outpacing it's larger neighbor India. So, कहीं कहीं ऐसा भी आपको देखने को मिलता है कि इंडिया को भी इसने बांग्लादेश ने जो है वो outpace कर दिया, outpace कर दिया है. So, this is very important line and should keep you should keep in mind. Now, in the very important editorial by Sayyid Munir Kasro, he mentions Razakars. Okay, can anybody answer me? Who are the Razakars? Razakars is an important term. Bangladesh, whenever you will listen to the speeches in Bangladesh, you will hear this word. Now, interestingly, it has an Indian connection. Okay, so I'm waiting for your answer. Can you, if you are not able to recall that Razakar Bangladesh is connected, hai, can you briefly tell me ki which state or which city say Razakar word India may associated? So, Razakar is con here. That is what I'm asking you. But if you can tell me ki kis Indian state 
या इंडियन नाउ इंडियन सिटी से रिलेटेड है ये वर्ड रजा का सो दैट इज समथिंग विच आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू ओके नाउ जो बहुत एक रेलिवेंट uh, क्वेश्चन आता है दिमाग में सबके वो ये है कि कैन इंडिया स्टैंड बाई इट्स फ्रेंड्स ओके ना बांग्लादेश इज सीन एज इंडिया फ्रेंड ऑफकोर्स इन शेख हसीना रजीम इन सीन द स्ट्रॉन्ग टाइज विद आर कंट्री विद बांग्लादेश बट द क्वेश्चन विच इट्स 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 अ नॉर्मल क्वेश्चन बिकॉज नाउ वी ऑल्सो सी दैट यू नो दे विल बी सम डायनेमिक्स विद यू एस चाइना यू नेवर नो हाउ इट टेक्स प्लेस तो इंडिया का क्या स्टैंड होना है इस चीज़ में यहाँ पे सी राजा मोहन का आर्टिकल बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाता है बिकॉज सी राजा मोहन एक्चुअली टॉक्स अबाउट फोर फाइव थिंग्स फाइव ब्रॉड क्वेश्चन इन फैक्ट विच स्टैंड आउट फॉर इंडियन स्टेट क्राफ्ट इन अ क्राइसिस दैट हेज जस्ट यू नो बिगन टू अनफोल्ड he says and he ask can india stand by its friend okay the indian establishment and i quote has certainly ensured that hasina was flown to safety before the angry protesters broke through to her residence in dhaka second staying standing by friends in thick and thin is an important part of major past credibility in the region and beyond he continues to write but no nation can tie its fortunes in another टू वन इंडिविजुअल और अ पार्टी ठीक है तो एक इंडिविजुअल और पार्टी के साथ आप यू नो एक अपना फ्यूचर जो है वो नहीं बांध के रख सकते हैं उससे बॉन्ड एक रिलेशन को नहीं आप समझ समझ सकते हैं एन इमीजिएट चैलेंज एन ई सेज दैट फॉर डेली लाइज इन डिस्टेंसिंग इट सेल्फ फ्रॉम हसीना एंड एंगेजिंग हर ओपोनेंट्स दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड आई एम श्योर जो लोग इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन फॉरन पॉलिसी को फॉलो करते हैं उनको ये चीज़ जो है वो समझ में आ रही होगी कि एक बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज है इंडिया के लिए दिल्ली के लिए कि अपने आप को शेख हसीना से डिस्टेंस में रखे और एंगेज विद हर ओपोनेंट्स नाउ दीज आर सर्टेन थिंग्स विच यू नो कैन बी आस्ड यू इन इंटरव्यू दे कैन आस्क यू अ डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन इंडिया बांग्लादेश रिलेशंस विद रिलेटेड टू द रिसेंट डेवलपमेंट्स हाउ इंडिया वट आर द इंडिया वट आर इंडिया चैलेंजेस एंड यू नो so how uh, how india should uh, you know work upon uh, these kind of conditions in future now the third which actually raja mohan clearly very frankly writes it delhi must expect that pakistan and china would try to exploit the current churn in dhaka and nudge the new government away from india in the days ahead india will need to work with its friends पार्टनर्स लाइक यू एस यू के एंड यूरोप तो वो क्या कह रहे हैं वो कह रहे हैं कि पाकिस्तान और चाइना इस मौके का फ़ायदा उठा सकते हैं और यू नो दे कैन क्रिएट अ रिफ्ट बिटवीन इंडिया एंड द न्यू गवर्नमेंट इज रिफॉर्म इन बांग्लादेश बट इंडिया नीड्स टू यू नो कम विद इट्स फ्रेंड्स टूगेदर एंड ई सेज दैट यू के यू एस यूरोप इन सारी कंट्रीज और कॉन्टिनेंट की कंट्रीज के साथ वी नीड टू बिल्ड टाइज टू एंड यू नो रिजॉल्व दिस इशू टू सॉल्व दिस काइंड ऑफ अ प्रॉब्लम विच कैन कम इन फ्यूचर now there is something else which raja mohan writes and he says about 1971 war and he says that delhi must stop romanticizing the 1971 liberation of bangladesh okay so now you have to tell me why raja mohan is saying that why raja mohan writes that of course it's up to you whether you agree or not do you think you are able you will be able to write that in your answers that you know india should stop romanticizing uh, 1971 li- uh, one liberation of bangladesh and after all you have to first understand what was india's role in that so called the war of independence of bangladesh in 1971 what was india's role in it so ye sari jo obviously the political situation right now links to history behind so we have to understand establish that link and why raja mohan is finally you know saying that that is something very important to understand let me know what do you feel about it and finally and finally rights that india debates on their neighborhood however tend to be self referential india's foreign policy discourse must recognize that developments in the neighborhood are not just about indian uh, india indian resolve goodwill or strategy india's neighbors he says have politics of their own these can be determined by delhi so an important line and i think anybody who is you know writing questions on international relations on neighborhood okay sometimes there are question on on india being a big brother kya 
तो उसमें ये लाइन बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाती है क्या बोल रहे हैं दट इंडिया नेबर्स हैव पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ देयर ओन इंडिया के जो नेबर हैं उनकी अपनी पॉलिटिक्स है एंड दीज कान बी डिटरमाइंड बाई डेली डेली को उसमें हस्तक्षेप करने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है वो कैसे अपनी पॉलिसी बनाएंगे उसमें डेली का रोल लिमिटेड या नहीं होना चाहिए दैट्स वॉट ही इज सेंग एंड ऑफ कोर्स दैट कैन बी अ लाइन ऑफ अ न्यूट्रल आंसर वेन यू आर राइटिंग इन यू पी एस सी एग्जामिनेशन नाउ ऑफ कोर्स यू मस्ट नो वॉट आर राजा गार्ड बिकॉज इट हैज बीन मैंशन अगेन एंड अगेन दी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट ऑफकोर्स वी विल बी यू विल बी नोइंग अबाउट हाउ शेख हसीना बिकेम यू नो वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर इंडिया ऑल्सो एंड हाउ दी बांग्लादेश टाइज विद इंडिया डेवलप in her reign you will hear about uh, khalid azia you will hear about you know the times of manmohan singh in 2009 indira gandhi who played a very important role in liberation of bangladesh this is all there and this is all which you have to study uh, while understanding the post independence of india post independence period of india important wars which india uh, participated in now apart from this uh, i would also you know uh, take your notice you know take your uh, attention to a very important line in one of the articles now when we are asking that what should be the india's what should be india's role in all this situation now in this particular i guess it's an explainer uh, where there's a very important line which has been said and it says new delhi cannot afford to have another front open when loc and the border with pakistan is hot again and the indian army is in a long standoff with pla in eastern ladakh so we have border situations elsewhere okay now so this particular article says that india cannot or new delhi cannot afford to have another front open so ye sari situation jo hai wo hame dekhni padegi ab isse pehle ki main aage badhu main aap se ye batana cha raha hu ki when ever you read such kind of articles or you know the uh, important must reads बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है कि आप कुछ टर्म्स को आपको लगेगा कि ये आर्टिकल्स बहुत रेपिटेटिव हैं बट देन देर आर सर्टेन टर्म्स विच यू मस्ट एक्सट्रैक्ट एंड पिक सो देर इज ऑपरेशन सर्च लाइट कैन एनीबडी टेल मी ऑपरेशन सर्च लाइट लाइट जो है वो किस चीज से रिलेटेड है मैंने अभी आपको बात की राजा कार्ज की तो वो कौन से स्टेट से हैं बहुत लोगों ने आंसर दिया है बहुत लोग नहीं दे रहे हैं वेल प्लीज चेक इफ इट इज ऑल्सो कनेक्टेड टू हैदराबाद In fact, there's a very interesting article in the explain section about Razakars in Hyderabad. If you follow our UPSC key initiative, ko follow kar rahe hai, you will definitely find this particular article suggested in also, you know, also in news or also you should read. Similarly, Mukti Bahini, Banga Bandhu, these are all important terms hai, which you should note down somewhere. They can be asked in any form in your prelims examination. Now. Uh, of course i told you that you should know about india and bangladesh you know the background historical background and the relationship also as i said that the areas of cooperation and conflict impact of ongoing crisis ye sari cheeze aapko pata honi chahiye now there was aisa nahi hai ki is pe koi question nahi aata hai for example river tista river tista pe 2017 pe question aa chuka hai uh, there was a prelims based question very important question wo aapko pata hona chahiye uh, ki ye kaun se uh, states ke through uh, behti hai and you know so all these things you should know it was in news then mains make what interesting you know question aaya hai and i am just putting across this question to you so that you understand ki in topics ko kaise padhna chahiye for example it says analyze internal security threats and trans border crimes along myanmar bangladesh and pakistan which borders includes loc also also discuss the role of played by various security forces in this regard now uh do दूसरा यहाँ का पहलू जो है वो है इकोनॉमी सो द इकोनॉमी का जो पहलू जो मैंने आपको थोड़े देर पहले हिंट किया था दैट इकोनॉमी इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट हियर सो यू विल फाइंड दैट देर वाज एन आर्टिकल ऑफ हसीना एग्जिट्स मे हर्ट इंफ्रा लिंक्स बिटवीन ढाका एंड डेली द ओपनिंग लाइन्स ऑफ दिस आर्टिकल आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विच से Sheikh Hasina resigning as country's prime minister and flying out has raised concern among Indian exporters. who see the ongoing political turmoil potentially leading to disruption in the flow of goods 
at the India-Bangladesh border and payments delayed to India traders. This is, however, hope among tra traders that the situation may not take too long to normalize. So, uh, normalize hone ke liye jada samay nahi laga. There is this kind of a hope there. So, aapko kya kya cheeze jaanni hai? Bangladesh is India's biggest partner in the subcontinent and India's biggest second partner. Bangladesh is second biggest partner in Asia after, uh, you know, uh, in Asia after China. So, can you tell me that Bangladesh India's biggest partner hai in the subcontinent when we talk about uh, trade? And India is Bangladesh's second biggest partner. So, Bangladesh ke liye China is the biggest partner. हमने बांग्लादेश के साथ जो एक्सपोर्ट किया है वो बाय 182 परसेंट इसका 2012 के डेटा के अकॉर्डिंग वर्ल्ड बैंक के डेटा के अकॉर्डिंग एफटीए जो एस्टीमेट किया गया है एंड वेर अस अ पार्शियल एफटीए कुड लीड टू 134 परसेंट एंड you see, uh, there are other issues. For example, the chicken neck issue. You should know that there is a chicken neck issue. Chicken neck. आपको पता होना चाहिए किस दो you know continents के बीच में what do we uh, 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 what do we know about chicken neck issue? Then there are two joint product projects which are very important. The two joint projects. Uh, so Akhara Agartala cross border rail link and Khulna Mongla port rail line which were inaugurated. So ऐसे हमारे जो इकोनॉमिक लिंक्स हैं, इकोनॉमिक जो डील्स हैं, प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं, ये बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट हैं, एंड देर इस फियर दैट दे विल गेट अफेक्टेड, ओके, सो इसलिए ये चीजें आपको जाननी बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट हैं। सो आई हैव जस्ट मेंशन दैट व्हिच आर द मस्ट रीड्स आर्टिकल, ये आपको कल के Pratap Dhanu Mehta has written a very important article in today's editorial which says a fighting chance. Now I want you to pay attention to this particular article. Pratap Dhanu Mehta write, writes, India has vital interest in Bangladesh. Bangladesh should not become a staging ground for anti-India groups operating in the North East. Any violence against Hindu in Bangladesh, and I am quoting Pratap Bhanu Mehta, even if it is an aberration, will have a profound impact on domestic politics in India, in which in turn will affect Bangladesh politics. Okay, so see, the opening lines, a context aapko bata deti hai. Thikhe, ye aapko bata rahi hai ki how India, you know, should see this particular issue. कहाँ नहीं जाना चाहिए हमें, okay? What are the lines which we should not take? Now, of course, you can agree, disagree. You can choose to pick up the things which you find relevant in your exam. But of course, अगर आप ये editorials पढ़ रहे, explainers पढ़ रहे, this it's helping you to understand the issue and knowing various dimensions of this particular issue. What should be the stand? That is also very important to know. कई बार एक question ये पूछा जाता है कि क्या जो बांग्लादेश में हो रहा है और जो पाकिस्तान में हो रहा है, how are these two things different? एक लाइन में प्रताप भानुमात मेहता लिखते हैं, the character of civil society in Bangladesh is different from Pakistan. Okay, say for example you are sitting in an interview and the interviewer asks कि दोनों ही आपके जो neighbour countries हैं वहाँ पे problem चलती रहती है, इस तरह के riots होते रहते हैं, इस तरह की problems होती रहती हैं, आपको लगता है कि दोनों का nature same है क्या? Now, Pratap Bhanu Mehta talks, you know, he actually shifts the needle to civil society to say that how these two countries are different. And he says that the character of civil society in Bangladesh is different from Pakistan. Bangladesh has a robustly institutionalized secular civil society organization. One has been central to its development story. इसके साथ साथ, you know, the 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 topic of student led movement is again very important. Of course, जो आपके दिमाग में तुरंत चीज आनी चाहिए कि इंडिया में any kind of a student led movement जिसमें काफी कुछ चेंज लाया है. So इसी इसी पर्टिकुलर एडिटोरियल में एक आंसर है and there are certain lines which gives an answer to this question. It says and Pratap Bhanumath is right that India has student movement during the emergency. There was regional student movement like in Assam. This, uh, the last big student-led movement was the agitation of Telangana. But aisa situation hamari country mein kyun nahi hua? Because uh, it did not turn violent because the state was responsive. Okay, so 
that is one of the region reason which uh, Pratap Banu Mehta gives. Ki hamare abhi student led movements hue and student led movements have happened uh, during the time of British rule also. You know, you can go back to that time also. But after independence, there have been student led movement, but it's not violent new because the state has been responsible. Now, again, there is no guarantee any rights, but the fact that Bangladesh is a student led movement holds out the possibility of hope. A sign of society continuously trying to carve out its own future. Okay, so the whole idea behind doing this particular session with you is to understand this issue in a broader perspective. Okay, आपको कई बार आपको notes में आपके coaching institutes में आपके teachers के through you'll get to know certain pointers and you will be ready with this fodder for your examination. But when you interact live, when you talk to us live, somebody from the Indian Express talking to you, bringing up, bringing to you a lot of you know collection of good articles from the Indian Express to answer a lot of questions on a particular issue, gives you an opportunity to understand this particular issue in a better manner. At the same time, you're free to ask me question as as you guys keep writing me on manas.shrivastav at indianexpress.com. That's my email ID. Uh, you come up with a lot of issues. Sometimes you talk about general issues. Sometimes you talk about exam specific issues. And there are so many questions which, you know, I keep running to different departments in the Indian Express to get them answered for you. So you can still, you can still write on this and you can keep asking me various uh, questions related to issues. You can ask me, you can also suggest issues which you want to pick up. Like for example, we have done issues on how to read the newspaper, how to tackle with you know, optional papers and so on and so forth. So this particular issue was also in demand by a lot of students. Now the time comes to discuss a letter. Okay. Uh, you get letters or you get emails and uh, there's this email uh, written not by an aspirant it's written by parents okay so I'll just I'll just re read a little bit about this particular letter and then we will talk about it and then we'll finish the live so the letter says that we've been following Indian Express since a lot of years many years and uh, recently when we got to know that UPSC section is a unique section in the Indian Express which covers the Indian Express, the news, not only from the specific of specificity of the exam, but aims to build a, a future bureaucrats and at least responsible citizens for the country. We were delighted. So we converted the Indian Express uh, subscription to UPSC subscription because we hope that our kids will one day try to prepare for the civil services exam. So we decided that you know, let's prepare ourselves so that we can guide our children in the future. There are certain questions. The questions are that are we covering these particular, uh, you know, issues from the perspective of prelims, mains and interview? Or how are we different from coaching institutes? And what are our various products? Okay, and is it is it uh, expected or is it encouraged that to even the parents can take a subscription of UPSC of the Indian Express. Okay, so thank you very much. The parents have, uh, you know, decided to remain anonymous. So, of course, I'm sure the kids will also see the video one day. So, uh, uh, thank you so much for, and that's 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 how Indian Express comes up with an idea of UPSC. Uh, it's a very important line when the line says that uh, we are uh, hoping that the our student, our kids will become bureaucrats, but at least a responsible citizen. So. Uh, the idea behind the UPSC section of the Indian Express is not like a coaching institute. We're not a coaching institute. We give just value-added content to help you, you know, uh, uh, develop better understanding about a particular issue or topics, reading the newspaper from the perspective of exam. Yes, we cater to both prelims, mains, and interview. For this, I would request you to follow a lot of initiators if you do. For example, the UPSC key, which helps you to understand the newspaper of the day what to read, what uh, you what not to read, from where to read, beyond the headlines, what to read. Uh, that's a Monday, you know, all seven days initiative, which goes out in the evening. So that is one important uh, product which we have. We have a UPSC Essentials magazine. No, it's not a current affairs magazine, like which you find in the bookshop. It It is a curation of three important sections. So one section talks about a cover story. The second section, picks up some, some of the best written, expert written articles from the Indian Express 
and the UPSC section, and then finally the UPSC specials, which focus on various dimensions of this particular examination. We have other wonderful initiatives, which also includes the latest initiative where we call experts to write on issues in a very lucid manner for students and general audience to understand. There are products like current affairs pointers, experts talk, ethics simplified, essays, CSAT, all these things are covered. There are quizzes, there's an issue at a glance, so we do a lot. Okay, so you can pick your best or you can take an Indian Express UPSC subscription where you get everything of the UPSC and some of the best things from the Indian Express under one cost. So that was the letter. Of course, there are other mails to uh, answer. I will personally answer to all the emails. Please don't forget to write to us at manas.shivastav at indianexpress.com. I'm also, uh, you know, reminding you of the video series which we do with Devdutt Patnayak to understand art and culture, not just for the UPSC aspirant, for any lover of art and culture who wants to understand various dimensions of this cultural heritage of India that we have. And don't forget to watch various educative videos of the Indian Express on the Indian Express's YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram. Also follow us, also read our newsletters. There's so many things to do. So keep writing to us, keep giving us an idea, various ideas, we will try to implement them. As the letter said, not just for making future bureaucrats, but also responsible citizens. Thank you very much. That's all. Thanks much. Work hard. Conquer your goal. Bye-bye.